Hi there, this is Andrew from the Road Cyclist Guide again, and today we're going to look at and think about the question about why road cyclists wear gloves. Um, seems like an obvious thing really, it's to keep your hands warm, um, And but there's a lot more to it than that, because you see road cyclists wearing gloves uh, during the summer, and when it's warm, and you know, when you wouldn't actually normally need to wear gloves. Um, so why on earth do they do it? Well, um, there's a number of, th number of reasons. First one is, well, for me anyway, the main reason I do it is if you fall off. Um, my thinking being that if you are wearing even a thin pair of road cycling mitts, then actually if you fall off, then when your your hand hits the road or hits the tarmac, at least you've got some protection there. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a protection thing. Um, winter gloves do give a certain amount of really good protection if you fall off, as I know from recent experience. Um, I badly skinned my knee and jarred my arm when I fell off about two months ago now but actually I didn't skin my hands because I was wearing a good thick pair of winter gloves. Um, other reasons um, so apart from protection then um, they're good for gloves most gloves even little thin mitts have some sort of cushioning involved in them in the palms of the hand which can help to well it can help with grip but it also helps to reduce vibration through the handlebars um, there is such a thing as uh, something called handlebar palsy, which I hadn't actually heard of until I, until I started researching this. But apparently there's a couple of nerves that go down the centre of your uh, wrist and into your hand that if you um, damage them via, you know, excess pressure or lots and lots of vibration can cause carpal tunnel syndrome, which I know is really, really bad. and can also cause numbness and tingling down your um, thumb and first two fingers or so. Um, so having some cushioning there is a really, really good idea to soak up the uh, soak up the, the vibration and also just sort of spread the weight a little bit. The other thing um, that even small gloves are good for is soaking up sweat. Um, and this is a really important thing, sweat and water really, because even if it's raining, you know, they will soak up a little bit of the moisture and help you to grip the handlebars, which is the important thing. And most importantly, to grip the, the, uh, the, the levers if you're trying to brake or you're trying to change gear. So having a good grip is important. Um, and I try to think if I have for cycles in the, I've cycled in really hot weather without gloves on accidentally really. And you, you do get sweaty and it runs down, runs down your forearm onto the palms of your hands. And actually you can end up with the handlebars feeling quite slippery after a while. So gloves soak up the sweat and a good pair of gloves will also wick away the sweat as well so that your hands don't get cold and clammy. Dog, sorry. Um, Finally, and the other really vital important thing is, is for wiping your nose. Um, I get a terribly runny nose when I'm, when I'm cycling, mainly because I cycle in the UK and it's always cold. He said looking out the window even in May and it's, uh, it's not that warm today. Um, runny nose when on the bike, it's, 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 you can't really do your forearm, you can't really get a tissue out the back of your pocket, it's tricky. Most gloves have some sort of soft panel in the side uh, with your thumb. That sort of action, wipe your nose, both sides at the same time if you need to like that, or you'd fall off if you did that. But you, there's both sides, both sides of the glove have it, both gloves have it. Um, and it's good. My top tip though for that, and for also soaking up the sweat, is actually gloves do need washing as much as the rest of your cycling kit. I can tell you that as a fact. Um, so I wear them just in the way as I wear a helmet. I have my gloves in my helmet, they're ready to go. Helmet goes on, protective goggles go on, gloves go on. It's what I do. Okay, hope that was helpful. See you in the next video.